Alright everybody, so we're back and we're looking at these swords of the Daedric Lords. I don't know why it took me so long to say, but whatever. But anyway, it looks like we're going to take a look at all these. Anyway, it includes seven little mods here, which is kind of cool. Uh, there is seven of them, but only one of them requires you to get an outside ingredient. That's normally not in the game. Uh, all the rest can be... Um, crafted with various ingredients that are already in the game but I'll show you where um, the location of the ingredient is well there's two locations of it there's two tokens you can get one is the inventory of Mercer Frey and one is on the table instead of treasure room of the thieves guild so I had to like cheat room in here because I for how you get in here if you don't have you know a uh, key I don't remember like, it's supposed to be, like, a it locks up after you in the quest line. So it's been a long time. Because everything's empty in here. But, uh, you can basically just go in this little cheat room. Not cheat room, this, uh, little storage place. And grab this token of Nocturnal on this table. And that will be the main crafting ingredient for these. So, like I said, there's seven swords in, uh, this each of these mods. Not seven swords. Seven swords in total. But there's like different alterations of each. Like there's a two-handed and one-handed version of pretty much every single one, I think. But they're all crafted on ebony, so we got sort of Sithis. Um, is basically the one. It requires human hearts, which is kind of interesting. So there's just a two-handed, one-handed version of it. This one requires an orcish dagger. Not too hard. But like I said, it requires a yeah, two-handed and a one-handed version. So the Sword of the Nocturnal is the one you need the coin for. So you can get the two-hand and one-hand version, whatever you prefer. Uh, then, I don't know what I was about to say, you can craft the new armor, maybe you're dumb. Uh, but this one just requires bear pelts and saber cat pelts. Not too bad. Oh, and wolf pelts too, so it's not horrible. Uh, this one requires vampire dust, which is not that hard to get either. Uh, this one requires just... Not that much. Silver ingots, ebony ingots, and leather strips. Uh, this one requires bone meal, so it's not that bad. But enough of all of that. If we go over here and we start looking at these weapons, uh, we'll just, just start at the top. Uh, we can start off with the Sword of Sithis, which is going to be nice. As you guys can see, it already looks like a pretty cool weapon. Boom. Wow. Has an interesting look to it. Uh, I don't know if they have, you know, it doesn't look like any of them have special enchantments or anything like that. Which would be kind of cool if they did. Because they'd kind of give uniqueness to them, but, you know, they have a cool visual look. I mean, of course you can probably enchant them, of course, to make them even better, but, I mean, just, like, naturally something unique would be cool. But it's whatever. But I think they're cool mods anyway, so let's, uh, run over here. And I guess we'll go in here. And I, I just been using this room because I like it. <laughs> uh, let's just get a dwarven spear for this sword. So this sword does, according to this, uh, with all the, it has 39 damage right now, and I believe that's pretty good since I have one. It's for one-handed. Yeah, my two-handed is awful. I got everything in one-handed, so gives you a good example. So you can use this however you want to. With, you can be two-handed or one-handed with each of these. Uh, like I said, there is a two-handed version. Which is less damage because I am, you know, not very proficient with it. Looks like it has a nice little sheath too. Which is always awesome. Sorry, this guy's annoying me. I was going to show that part off, but he's like, nope. We gotta destroy him first. Should've... Did an easier enemy. <laughs> Or just upgraded my skills or something like that. But there we go. Alright. Looks like it has... There we go. That's a better look at it. As you guys can see there, it looks pretty nice. I like the look of it. Wow, it goes right through my character's butt. Nice. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure... I imagine this the one has a little sheath on her side too. Yep, pretty nice. But if we go into the next one... It'd be fun. Also, these are all on PC, too, because they're just a port all together. So, I'll probably just link this for Xbox. And then if you guys are on PC, you can go to the Xbox link and click on those. Because it's just a lot of links to post in the description. 
So, this is the sort of uh, Malachite cat, uh, which sounds pretty cool. Um, has a cool look to it. Has a two-handed version with this, too, which is always awesome. Looks like they both have sheaths, too, which is, like I said, pretty awesome. Too bad they keep going through my armor. I don't know if that's because of my body mods, or... I don't know. Either way, they look pretty cool. So, I guess we could test this out on something, too. I don't think I want to test every single one out, because, you know, it's a sword. What do you expect to do? Just to, I mean, if I just test it on like something a boar, it shouldn't be too bad. Beep. Boop. Oh, I think that's what... I have difficulty mods on. I installed for, like, a stream or something. That's why everything seems like it's ten times stronger. And that's why my character's actually taking damage. I do have a lot of health. <laughs> uh, I just noticed it now. Well, I just thought about that now. Whatever. Of course, we got the sort of nocturnal. Uh, I think this one looks awesome. Like, the look of it is pretty cool. Uh, as you guys can see here, it also has a sheath, which I'm pretty sure just all of them do. Um, these, well, hey, I gotta take that off because, you know, it kind of steals the fame. But, you know, it's kind of shiny, and I like the look to it. Pretty cool. Uh, I think they all pretty much do the same damage. I was gonna look at that. Yeah, it looks like they all pretty much do the same damage. Interesting. So, um... Then we got this one. This one's pretty nice looking too. Like I said, they're all pretty like shiny looking and stuff like that. I like to put them on my back because it's easier to see the, the sheath. This one doesn't like stand out very much to me. It looks cool though. I like it. It's nice and simple. Throw me an enemy in here. I guess since we have those difficulty mods on, we could throw something in here. It's not that strong. I don't know these guys being that strong. I'd definitely be wrong about that. Okay. <laughs> we won, yay! What else we got here? Um Damn we got the sword the sword of Molag Ball. I, I forgot how to pronounce his name. Whatever. Oh, I like the red oh, it looks like there's like blood infused with it or something like that. Maybe some cranberry juice. I don't know. I'm just saying that because I was just drinking cranberry juice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, yeah, like I said, it looks pretty cool. Uh, we can also look at the bigger version, the two-handed version, which you can see a lot better in this one. Anyway, that is pretty cool. Uh, looks like there's one sword, nope, two swords left. So, lots of cool little Daedric swords, as it says, that are all crafted by an ebony. Boom. Yep, here's another little sword, and... Throw it back in a sheath. Awesome. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's this last sword here. Like I said, there's just a lot of swords in this mod. That's basically the, you know, what this mod is for. <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to like say that, like in a way that's not sounding that sounds smart. I guess we'll get another one of these things. Yeah, we won! Yay! With lots of effort. I'm going to go two-handed version of this. Boom. <laughs> like I said, there's just a lot of cool swords to this mod, and they're pretty easy to get, except that one is a little more difficult, depending on where you are in the game. So that's why it can, it can be annoying if, you know, some things like that happens. <laughs> so you just got to keep that in mind when you're downloading this kind of mod. Come on, die. <laughs> These difficulty mods just make it worse for me. Look at them, like, higher level, so they're not that bad. Anyway, guys, if you want to download this mod, it will be in the description. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Anyway, yeah, you can just get a bunch of mods here. Not a bunch. Well, actually, it is a bunch of mods, because it technically is a mod pack. But like I said, if you're a PC, um, I'm not going to link all of them in there, because there's there's seven of them. And it's just going to take up just a lot of links to put in my description. So you can always just go to the Xbox page. And just click on them there because they're all listed there, so we fine. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You know, uh, I'm gonna be doing more streams more often now, especially on YouTube. 
Uh, I was thinking about doing a Skyrim one today, but I didn't end up doing it. I don't know. Well, it might be, it's probably going to be uploaded tomorrow, so I might do one tomorrow. So just don't listen to me at all. So I'll see you guys later in a... Uh,